Hi there, this is Kikov and you're watching my YouTube channel, Tech Venture Engineering Project. Well, that's me, trying to be a very sincere student at the beginning of the semester, and I'm very proud of myself. Let's see how long I can keep this spirit on. So right now, I'm trying to do my assignments, which I have to complete it by tomorrow, because I'm a very hardworking engineer. You know that? Thank you. All of a sudden, something just whispered from behind. Raju ga Simon copy kar, or wo samit kar de, bas. So I just closed my book, and I decided to do something, which I just love to do it, that is building stuff. So this video is sponsored by, nah, I was just kidding. Here are some of my collections, tools. I'll be using it to make something for today's video. So here's the plan, I'll set up a motion sensor light in my study devil and I'll switch it on and off without touching it but just by the motion of my hand by using a sensor. I'll be using Arduino Uno, write a smooth code on it and then use the PWM pin to control the power of the light. One infrared sensor, IR and one NPN transistor. I have this long LED. I found this in my hostel, lying in the corner. We're using some of this for the light. If you do want to learn Arduino, but if you don't have the hardware, don't worry. You can check out Tinkercad for an online simulation and you can learn from there. Pause this video, take a screenshot for the wire connections. Now I'll be connecting all the hardware according to the diagram that I've just shown in the online simulator. So the LED is perfectly fine. You can also check out the manufacturer data sheet to know the emitter pace and collector junction. Do not make a mistake. The signal pin of the IR sensor is given to the digital pin number 2. The best of the NPN transistor is connected to the digital PWM pin number 6. Finally, the connections are done. Now, it's time to write a simple code in it. I will also mention the code down in the description, so please check it out if you want. So after 100 years later, the code is finally completed and it's already uploaded. Now time to proceed for the next step. Five volt adapter to power up the Arduino. It has finally come to an end. It's already completed. You can also control the power of the light by the motion. I've set it to number three. So light, the more the number of motion you give, it will go in increment and then it will come down. On the last stage, it will turn it off. The LED will turn it off and it will repeat the cycle again and again. Hello, Raju, assignment. Welcome to...